Mm -hmm. If uh, if Germany, in lieu of sending Jews to concentration camps, had simply expelled them all at the border with a death toll of approximately 1% of the total population, would you be making the same argument in this defense? Um, would I be? I probably... Um, if so with, just so I understand the question, you're saying if... So instead of doing the a Holocaust, instead of committing a genocide, not instead of we don't know in this in the event that this is actually what took place, right? Well, I know we're not we're not German talking about a comparison. Like, hey, if it wasn't the Holocaust, would you be more cool with it? Because obviously we both would. The question is, would you be making this same argument in Germany's defense if instead of sending Jews to concentration camps to be uh, systematically slaughtered individually, targeted mm -hmm. as it were in that way, but simply expelled them all across the border with a death toll of roughly one percent, maybe even at the instigation of a few hundred uh, Jewish terrorists doing mm -hmm. whatever, would you be rendering this defense if the situation was identical in that way? I suspect I probably wouldn't because I probably would have my biases against Germany that I don't have uh, with Israel. However, I also suspect that if someone were to make this case to me, that I would begrudgingly accept it. Um, if I were to previously make the claim that Germany was indiscriminately target, uh, bombing or targeting civilians, or if they were to make the claim that um, that it has a poor adherence to the principle of distinction, or if they were to make the claim that Germany uh, did not commit a genocide. I don't think I would be the one advocating this claim because of my biases. I'm willing to admit that, I'm, that I have, that I have, certainly have them, and that may lead me to not be the one championing uh, some or, or doing an investigation where I would have otherwise. Sure. I can't decide if that's the best answer or the worst answer you could have given to that. Um, I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna let you guys go. Oh. We can we can talk oh. more about Wednesday and DMs. Uh, were you saying something? The I'm important sorry? thing. The important thing. Wait, just the important thing. to My answer is just that yes. if um, if someone were to if I were to have made a false claim about Germany and someone presents me with data showing that I was false about it, and even if I hated the guts out of Germany. I'd begrudgingly accept that I made a false well, claim. What about this? Would you be putting posters up pointing out how the expulsion of the Jews from Germany was so much had involved so much less civilian deaths than, say, uh, the Irish potato famine or something? No, I don't think I. Again, I, I don't yeah. think I would. As I've said before, so I don't think I don't think I would be the one championing a cause, uh, taking up or putting in the effort to champion a cause of like a group that I that I hate. Yeah. But I, at the same time. I do think that I would be intellectually honest enough that, such that if I were to make the claim that, you know, it is worse than the Irish potato famine, if I were to make that claim and someone were to correct me with data, that I would say, oh, actually, I was wrong when I said that. Well, nobody's nobody's said it's worse than Hiroshima, though. Yes. Well, they you're are the one. You're well, the one who juxtaposed saying, Gaza with they Hiroshima. Are saying, well, they are saying, well, plenty of people are saying that it is a genocide. And people, plenty of people well, are people, saying... But people aren't saying that Hiroshima was a genocide. So very clearly, these two wait, are not equivocal terms, right? Wait, wait, what, what do you mean? I'm not, it's, it's a, it's a match. The gen, no, the, you're missing the, that. This just has to do with you missing the inference of how the project, uh, uh evaluates no, 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 how, no. I'm, how... I'm judge i'm judging the motives behind putting this information up at this present time with the juxtapositions that you've chosen these are stillistic no, no. decisions you didn't have to for it's example not, compare gaza to hiroshima, hiroshima or or to wait or i wasn't comparing gaza. wait hold on the purpose of that wasn't it, like uh, putting in hiroshima was just oh i understand is... I, I understand in terms of the methodology yeah. of the project how that would factor in but the reason but for was, the reason wasn't for to compare Gaza to Hiroshima that wasn't the purpose. But it does compare Her Gaza to Hiroshima. That is explicitly the purpose of it. It's to compare all of these conflicts according to a specific metric, and well, no, but it's I, doing but so in such a time as it portrays the... Israel favorably. At such no, a time think, as there is a particular uh, impetus to portray yeah, Israel yeah, favorably yeah. by someone who's avowedly biased in its favor, yeah, who has so not, not been, who has, who's not wait, criticized wait, uh, the purpose, Israel's the activities in Gaza at all. I understand. It's something that it might be done by the project. It makes me like, okay, you're putting Gaza here and Hiroshima there. But the purpose of the project, as far as the questions it's it's ultimately trying to answer, is not how... Yeah, I, I get it. You're just interested in crime statistics. I, under, I totally understand. I, un I, I under... The purpose... The question specifically were about things people are saying, which is, is Israel's committing a genocide. Israel has a poor performance and adherence of distinction, i.e. they're indiscriminate. And uh, and the other thing people are now saying is that CCR is better than RR. It's been a handful uh, of so months, and one percent of the population is dead, my dude. It wouldn't actually take very long. I I, I understand what people. So again, like, well, just that's the just point kind of a fact. Like, it's 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 it's, it's, no, well, it's close to thirty thousand dead. I suspect that number is probably. I'm not contesting. Ball, but... I'm not contesting the total. I'm not contesting the numbers in the total dead. 
I'm just I'm what I'm con the, that the project doesn't contest that. I, I, I know it doesn't. I, I'm not saying the project contests that. The entire project, the project, project uses affirms those numbers for it, the pro it, it, uh, it it affirms it affirms those numbers in such a manner as it gives people the impression that what Israel is doing is relatively benign by comparing in, with with not... respect to the adherence to the principle of distinction. It is relatively benign. Yeah, sure, but nobody's asking about the principle of distinction. People are asking yes, about whether or not no people are concerned about whether or not the population of Gaza is being removed from existing in Gaza by whatever about means. That they're concerned about that also, but they are also concerned about indiscriminate attacks. Yes, but they're of concerned about indiscriminate attacks based upon the Israeli, uh, the IDF's own statements about their decision to actively pursue indiscriminate bombing versus mm -hmm. precision and bombing. This is, and this is why, and, and by... And I actually shouldn't even why. say that, because the issue is not even indiscriminate bombing. It's simply not precision bombing, which means that inevitably they're going to be targeting is, areas involving civilians in every single case. And this is why I'm doing the project to see if the outcomes translate to what to what those statements are. Yeah, and I don't believe. And it's 